subjective as it's part of a consistent approach. So again, it's not open to challenge around um, any kind of data from there. Adds to the existing RAG rating system, which is a red and a green system used to identify the quality in our nursing and residential homes. Transparency across boards. People, the idea would be that you wouldn't be visiting the um, nursing homes in your area, but if you structured them, you could be going all over the world in relation to the home community. Shared workload across the world because, of course, the homes aren't evenly spread. We have some wards that have many and some that don't have any at all. So that would even out the workload slightly. Um, and it would uh, support um, the local authority and public community as dealing with failed providers. Quite often, Closing, and um, it would be really beneficial to me, someone who stands there at the front, if we had a elected like, like member there as well, to support the public to say, you know, the approach that we're going to use. Challenges, uh, diary commitments, um, not as flexible for members, and doesn't necessarily add value. The um, third approach, and the one that we're actually implemented, is the members of the lay assessor. Um, uh, it's an increase number of local authorities are successfully introducing this. It's sort of the middle ground. It's flexible, but it's got a structure. So it's, it's the middle ground, really, which is why I think it's been effective and it's been adopted by lots of local authorities. Um, this model, uh, it proposes that the elected members of the lay assessor support the existing work of the local authority. Um, by nature of the quality improvement work, um, the team that Yeah, that may be a problem. The, the rag rating system that we use 
Um, it is actually a multi-agency system. We have uh, Healthwatch, CQC, um, uh, CCG, um, all, all partners are involved in that. And uh, we use CQC um, information as part of that. So absolutely, we'd be looking at those homes. If the decision was that you support us in our green homes, because we're then, we know that they're the ones we go in less frequently, absolutely.
stopped going into homes if they already were, but this is more of a process and a way that we can capture that information. Okay, um, yes, Mr. Just briefly, um, on the challenges on that option, you've got need to ensure strong linkages to phone the QA system. <coughs> How would that happen? How would you ensure that those links would be made? Um, that, well, it's, it's, we can do whatever we need to do, really. But how I envision to this um, on page value is that um, I have a contract to leave for that area, and I, they can produce um, a list of places we would like visits, visits to pay. So they could either be coordinating with Alan or, or somebody, and that link would be there. Again, at the same time, if people were interested in coming to our rag rating, we're open to any suggestions. Um, sort of my role is to make this work, so whatever is needed to be done, we will. And I think it is important that we work closely with Health Watch as well, because we could duplicate and, you know, we need to ensure that we use what we've got the best way we can for them. Okay, we'll, we'll ask questions. Uh, recommendation that we agree on one of the options. My suggestion is that we agree option three as a model, which we can tailor and adapt to our work.
engaged that do need social care intervention as soon as possible by the Bureau of Health for going down the right route. Third recommendation is in respect of performance data and set out how from September last year we implemented a new uh, dashboard which is a suite of data reports. So it looks like um, a report that's a pilot one in a cockpit. Um, so there's little charts about the number of referrals coming in, who are coming in from, timeliness with which referrals are being responded to. I think it's fair to say that we're still working with people within the MASH and frontline teams about how to make the best use of that information. Um, so we're continuing to develop that. 